Okay, once again, we are mounted up here for another go. After careful measurements, we still have two thousandths, ugh, two tenths <laughs> to take off. And we've already done the backlash compensation in the control, which might be, you know, the final answer. So I'm gonna mount up the camera in a fixed position so you could watch uh, from afar and uh, we'll take two tenths. We're all set up here at the grinder. So we're checking things out, we're moving slowly. Uh, the last thing we wanna do is make an error, especially on a one-off part. So here we're getting ready to touch off. Now the the z-axis which is the axis we're working on fore and aft it's parallel with the spindle we have the switch set to 0 0.1 tenths per click on the hand wheel um, which is also called a manual pulse generator or an mpg so we're now backing out the work or Another way of saying it is moving the grinding wheel into the work by 10 millionths per click. So we're moving very slowly and we're watching for sparks. There's the sparks. Again, more than I would have liked to have seen. Now we're side wheeling and we have formed that wheel for this job and you can tell by looking at the grinding wheel and you see that little uh, dark rim that's indicative of the shape we've put on the wheel so at this point I'm checking the dimension of that uh, that back rail on the part and I'm storing it in the micrometer so that now uh, is an incremental mode so that when we go back to measure it, we could measure material removed. Um, so here we go. We're going to start the oscillation. We're putting up the, the shield. We're going to turn on coolant. And then we're going to simply walk the, the wheel into the part uh, by two tenths, just going as slowly as we can. Once we get to the end, you're going to notice that we kind of stick around and let it spark out. Now it's extremely important to note that the spark out on side wheeling is way more important than the spark out uh, when doing normal uh, perpendicular grinding. And that's because the wheel is a big piece of flexible material. Like Robin says everything's rubber, I say everything's pasta, right? So the wheel bends much, much more when you're side wheeling. So the spark out uh, is, is more important. Believe it or not, that's it. If you look in the corner of the screen, you see that the DRO says 0 .0002. So our two tenths have been taken. Wait for it. Wait for it. Two tenths. So the important point here is also that we asked for two tenths and we got two tenths. That was pretty good. Remember, we were struggling a little bit before, which was largely in part of the backlash in the machine. And we, if you watch the previous video, we went through the process of uh, dialing in a backlash compensation into the control, which makes the motion much more predictable. I got the crosshatch pattern that everybody seems to talk about for side wheeling. 
I changed the depth a little bit. Let's go measure it. That's zero. It's about 70 millionths above that. You obviously know that we're in the region of pretty small measurements here with the wrong equipment. Gotta move this down a bit. Also, I should point out that I am very well aware of of uh, cosine error in the angle of the tip of the instrument. So I'm not too concerned about that because we're really looking for an, what I like to think of as a, you know, zero, a null measurement. We just want them to be the same. If they're the same, they're the same. We're depending on the gauge blocks mostly and the tip of the instrument a little bit. I'm calling this 50 plus 50 millionths. I'm also trying to keep the heat of my hands away from this thing. Yeah, I'm going to call that plus 50 millionths. Okay, let's mount up our, uh, our five inch blocks. So here's our five inch block. Well, you're not going to believe it. The error is in the noise. Ha! Not bad. Yeah, plus 50 millionths. We're done. Let me see if we can get you a shot. So when I say 50 millionths, that's what I'm looking at. The point being is that this was exactly the same as the difference between the blocks on the bottom, which basically puts this at zero, zero, as far as we can get it. So uh, the critical, the critical dimensions are all done. These guys are coplanar, and the distance from here to here, within the limits of my ability to measure, <laughs> are, are done, zero, zero. I'm gonna clean up. Doink.